Having created a PostgreSQL database service at render.com, it's now time to connect to it from the local tool. The local tool used in this video is pgadmin4, which is produced by the people at Postgres. The tool can be downloaded free at www.pgadmin.org. The reason for using such a tool is that no such tools exist at render.com. You need an external tool that will allow you to create the tables and other structures and then interact with them. Getting started, make sure pgadmin4 is downloaded, installed, and running. Log in to render.com and click on your Postgres database service from the dashboard. Scroll down to the Access Control section and make sure that the source shows 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, .0, 0. This allows you to make a remote connection from your development computer to the remote service. Now, scroll up to the Connections area. Click the Copy button on the External Database URL line. While here, make sure you are aware of the database name and username. Leave the browser tab open as you may want to return and copy more values. Return to pgadmin4 on your computer. Right click on the Servers icon and then select Register Server. A dialog box will open. Enter a name in the name box. This is simply a label to help you identify this server connection from any others you may create in the future. Click the connection item in the navigation bar. Click in the host name slash address box and paste the external database URL that you copied from render.com. This contains the name of the host server, the password, the database name, and username. Now you will edit this string. Highlight all of the characters from the first character in the string all the way to and including the at symbol. Delete these. Move to the end of the remaining string and select the forward slash all the way to the last character. Delete these characters. Jump back to the render.com tab in your browser and note again the database and user names. If they are the same, copy one of them. Return to pgadmin4 and enter the database name into the maintenance database text box and the username into its field. Leave the port as 5432. Click the parameters item in the navigation bar. Change the SSL mode to require. Click the save button. pgadmin will attempt to connect but will fail as it needs the password. Go to the render.com tab in your browser and click the copy button for the password. Return to pgadmin and click the connection item in the navigation bar. Paste the password and click the remember password option if desired. Then click save. You should now connect to the remote server. When done interacting with the remote server, you should always disconnect from it by right-clicking on the server name and choosing Disconnect from Server. The icon will change and you are disconnected. In the future, you will only have to right-click the Render Server and select Connect Server. All settings should be stored and will not have to be entered again unless you chose to not remember the password. 